Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. So today we have Brady and it's been about three months since I saw her and she just wants to refresh everything that we did last time. So I'm gonna start out by mixing up Flash Lift and 20 Volume. I'm using Uberless because this is a bond regenerator. This is gonna work from the inside out and kind of repair broken bonds and stuff inside the hair. And then the collagen that I'm also adding is going to kind of prevent damage before it even starts. So both of these together are an absolute dream team. The money piece around the face is just what is brighter and is going to frame the face better. So a lot of blondes feel more blonde when they have a money piece because it is more of a pop around the face. I like to do my money piece around the entire hairline so that when they pull their hair back they don't have two stripes going down the middle. This is going to make their hair really bright all the way around their face and make it frame a lot better. I like to do about nine foils for the money piece in total. So on this side of her head, I'm gonna do three. On the other side, I'm gonna do three. And then in the center, I'm also gonna do three. I like to do pretty fine slices just to make sure that it's not gonna be super chunky or anything crazy. Everyone's money piece is gonna be a little bit different depending on how bold or subtle they want it to be. For her, we are gonna be doing two back-to-back -back slices and then a baby light. So this is gonna give her a nice pop because she does like to see that contrast between her money piece and then her dark root that we're gonna be adding as well. So we're just gonna let this process and then rinse it out once it is done. Brady does not want to move up any of her other blondes. She kind of likes where it's at. So for her root smudge, I'm gonna mix up 6N, 7N, and 7NA. This is gonna match her natural really well, but also make sure that we get the most seamless blend possible. I get a lot of questions about why I like to use Goldwell instead of Shades EQ for my root smudges, and the reason is because Goldwell is more opaque, whereas Shades EQ is translucent, so if there's any foil lines or any mistakes happening, Goldwell is going to cover it up and Shades EQ would not. I did love it. I still use it sometimes, but I just love this more um, because it really does give me a nice, rich base.
When you're doing a root smudge, it is really important to put a barrier on the ends. I like to use the Uberless Bond Regenerator, but you could also use Olaplex number two or any thick conditioner or mask or anything. This is going to protect the ends and make sure that no color transfers onto the blonde ends. Her ends are absolutely beautiful and we do not want to have any splotchiness or lines or anything like that. I like to section the front from the back and then the front I section off of their part. If we do a money piece, I will also section that away as well so that we don't touch it because the money piece is not going to get a smudge at all. You wanna make sure that your sections are pretty small so that your color can penetrate through and that you're gonna get a seamless blend. And you also wanna make sure that you're pulling the color down far enough to blend any demarcation lines or anything like that. You can see here how beautiful this is gonna be. It's already processing and it looks so seamless already. I'm so excited. Now for her money piece, I'm using 10P, 10VV, and 10N just a tone. And then for the rest of her blonde, I'm using the Finola Incredible Foam. Her ends were already really beautiful, so this just needed a little bit of a kick. I'm blow drying her and you can see the blend and how gorgeous this is going to be. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. After we dried her, I went in with a T3 one inch curling iron and made some really cute waves for her. Now this is her after. It is so seamless and these colors blend together beautifully. Her blonde is absolutely stunning and Fanola toned it so well with the incredible foam. Oh my gosh, I just can't even get enough of this. You're going to be able to see her money piece in a second, but let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. Let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe. I'm so excited to give you more. Bye guys.